Hey friends, it's Bridget. Thank you for being here. If you're like me and plan to hopefully put several books into use in the new year in terms of planners and journals, you've probably been racking your brain recently, just like I have, about how to use each specific book. And what I've been doing recently over, I'd say, the past month or so is I do have an open note in my notes app in my iPhone that has each book that I would like to use in 2024 and under that book I just add subtract edit notes as different ideas come to mind I even have some of them broken down so say there's a particular book like a hone or a five cousin that I want to use in the next year underneath that book and the notes I'll even have each section like year at a glance monthly weekly daily and then as different ideas come to mind I can put them even in a particular section of the book and just kind of let that marinate and you know over time see how I feel about it but there's one particular book that I've decided here in early October that I'm 100% confident in my plan and know that's how I want to use this book. So I've decided, <laughs> why wait? Um, I've already been using this book for about three days now and I have zero regrets. So if you are wanting to go ahead and dive in early to one of these books, you may take some inspiration from this video. This particular book that I've decided to go ahead and start is the 2024 Liberty Fabric A5 Hobonichi Hon. And I'm going to go through each section and go ahead and show and talk in detail about how I'm using it. However, if this particular topic does not suit you or is not something that you practice, you may still glean some tips from this video about how you could apply what I'm doing here to other topics. And the main factor here that works for starting a book early is if you're going to use it for something that is not traditional planning or time-based uh, planning. So in other words, it doesn't matter. I'm using it almost like a notebook in a sense. So it doesn't necessarily matter what's going on each particular calendar date, if that makes sense, because this is early October 2023 and I'm diving right in. So starting with the year to glance section, I do plan to use this middle main part as an index of sorts and I will be using this book specifically for faith journaling in 2024. So what I've already started recently is a devotional called Reset Your Mind. It's a five day devotional. So I used a highlighter to highlight the five days that these notes are going in in the daily section, as well as the name of the devotional and plan to continue that throughout the year. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with the top and bottom sections of the year at a glance. Now moving on into the monthlies, this is the one section that I do have a plan for, but I have not yet begun. I am planning to wait until this uh, time actually lines up with the book and do this in real time because my plan for the monthly section is to use it for daily gratitude. So the current plan is to wait until the month of December, a couple months from now, and on each day of the month in real time, make a either one word or a very short, short phrase of something that I'm grateful for that day. 
and then after I have each monthly block completed at the end of the month, I'll go back where space allows and possibly do some light decorating. So the monthly section will be for gratitude, but I am going to wait to do that in real time. Now where I have jumped in early is the weekly section. And the plan is to use each column of the weekly section for scripture writing or verse of the day. And I went ahead and started prepping um, some verses early. And <laughs> this kind of came from, and I'll sh I, I went ahead and prepped verses through the first month, I believe. And then after that, I decided instead of writing the entire scripture, I just used my Bible app and went into the verse of the day section and just started scrolling backward and taking each key scripture and putting the reference in. And so for the next handful of weeks, I can just go in and do one of two things. I can either add some decoration as I've done with this week, or I could wait um, or come back rather in real time on January the 8th. And there's plenty of room where I could add an additional scripture. So if I wanted to do more real-time uh, verse of the day scripture writing at this later time, I could do that as well and have more than one scripture on each day. Otherwise, I can just decorate it. I went ahead and randomly prepped scripture references throughout almost the whole year. I believe through the end of November. And then what I've been doing the past couple days. Okay, so as I was going backward, since we're only in October, um, I eventually ran out of verse of the days in the Bible app. So I went all the way back to the first one of 2023, which ended here on November 28th. So the past two days, these have actually been like the current verse of the days, and I'm just moving forward with them. And then as time runs out, I could go back and, you know, what I already explained in terms of current days. So that's how I plan to use the weekly section. And what I will say about weeks, if I do decide to leave a single scripture and add deco, I added some hand lettering practice here with kind of a key word that I pulled from each scripture. And I did add some washi tape here. I bought this roll from the Pella Papery, and I actually have a discount code for her shop, so I'll leave it listed in the description box below. But I don't plan on adding washi or any type of overlay like stickers um, to every single spread, because with this being the hone that has a firm kind of finite spine, I don't want to chunk this book up too thick to where it possibly would damage the spine or its ability to close. So just the simple act of writing on each page throughout the book, particularly with the ballpoint pen that comes with the Hobonichi books, those impressions on the paper and even using highlighter that alone over time is going to make the book a little fluffy you can see where those pages are already kind of wanting to fluff up 
and to me that alone is going to be enough for this book but even though I'm going to try to exercise some restraint I will occasionally probably add more washi and if I do add stickers I'll try to keep them to a thin sticker like a washi paper sticker just to avoid bulking the book up too much but my thought in prepping this section as well as jumping in with the dailies or jumping into this book in general kind of came from some inspiration that I've read online before I'm sure you've probably read something similar at least another version of it but it basically says why wait like don't reserve your special things for something that happens far in the future and ironically with this being a faith journal like scripture tells us you know tomorrow isn't promised so um, the passage that I had first found online and read about basically gave examples like don't just keep your fine china sitting in your cabinet for 20 years and use it three times in your life like use it now have your uh, pizza and salad on your fine china every now and then you know if you have something special go ahead and use it and in the past when I've had ideas like this if I didn't act on it if I had said instead okay I know exactly how I'm going to use this book I'll just wait until January before I actually start it well two three months from now when January rolls around if I either forget about the idea or I'm too busy or you know I'm just involved in other things if I don't act on it and then maybe remember it say two three months later and the book is blank that's so disappointing <laughs> and personally in the past I've learned that I have more regret when I don't act on something and actually use it compared to going ahead and jumping in and using something in maybe a non-traditional way so hopefully that'll inspire you even if you want to use a book for a completely different topic maybe you don't do any type of faith journaling you could still apply these concepts to other topics as long as they're not specifically time dependent on the dates you could definitely do um, something similar for just a general reading journal that's an idea I have so many ideas going in the notes app about other books and the majority of them are not time specific so I may have some future videos I, I don't know I may go ahead and jump into some other books early who knows <laughs> But for the daily section, what I plan to do in this book is use it for um, devotional notes. I did reserve January 1 to use on that day as a real time, whatever I'm feeling that day, kind of welcome to the new year entry. But I started on January 2nd with uh, notes related to a five-day devotional that I'm doing right now so I went ahead and prepped those five days I've got days one out of five two out of five three four and five out of five and this devotional is one that I'm doing in the Bible app so I have the topic some scripture related to it and then highlights from the actual devotional and these pages are just pen and highlighter only so i have been using so far the hobonichi pen may possibly add some fountain pen in this book later in the year who knows um, for highlighters, I've been using a set that I recently purchased on Amazon. If I can um, find that link, I'll link it below. I have some other like Amazon favorites listed in the description box. But this is a set that has kind of a fine marker or finer marker point on one end. 
and so I've used it to like underline some lines and just kind of go over some bullet points and then the majority of the highlighting I've done with the opposite end which is like a what you're probably accustomed to when you think of a chisel point highlighter and I did all of the pen writing first and then we'll just go back and um, hit the high points so to speak key points and highlight them as well as the scripture reference for that topic so I'm three days in so far this was this morning's entry and I'm just loving this I'm loving it I did something similar maybe three years ago for a faith journal I used a cousin in a zip cover and I used the sections of that book differently than I'm doing now I think I did share a video about that it'll be quite old but if I can find it in my kind of archives I'll try to leave it linked in the description box below which would give you even more ideas for potential faith journaling but I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far like on the next couple days I've prepped just the scripture reference that you can see in advance when you click on the day in the app and then what I plan to do over the next two days in real time is open the day of that devotional and actually do the notes from the devotional itself after I'm completed with the notes I'll take the same highlighter set and just have this five-day devotional kind of coordinate in terms of how it's styled now other options that may end up going in the daily section besides devotional notes would be sermon notes um, maybe prayers um, or just kind of stream of consciousness journaling so I'm trying not to really um, put myself in a box and just leave this section fairly open but I feel like the devotional notes will be you know the primary use for these pages that is it for all the dailies and I do also have in mind a cover that I think I'm going to use on this book in 2024 what I think I'm going to do is make a separate video about that and show all of the covers or at least you know most of the covers that I choose to use next year along with the books inside so if that's something you might be interested in then let me know in the comments below and if it seems that there's interest I'll definitely make that video if you have any questions or comments I'd love to hear them below Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this gave you some inspiration. Don't wait until January 1 if you really want to dive in. Don't let me be a bad influence, but <laughs> I say don't wait. Um, no regrets whatsoever. Alrighty, guys. I will see y'all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.